An action sheet is one of the most common interface components you'll find in an iPhone app. To simulate the action sheet in iRise, we need to enable a few dynamic page actions that will reveal and hide the component when the reviewer interacts with the page. Our goal on this page is simple. When the reviewer taps the Forgot Password link, the transparent overlay should appear over the entire page, and then the action sheet should slide up into position. When the reviewer taps the Cancel button, the action sheet should slide back down out of view, and the transparent overlay should be hidden. Let's start with the transparent overlay. Since we want the overlay to be hidden when the page loads, first we'll make sure that the hidden checkbox is selected in the Properties panel. The page action we'll use to reveal the overlay is called a Show Hide Widget action. This is one of several actions you can configure by dragging the action icon from the widget toolbar and releasing it on the canvas. The different types of page actions can be selected in the left column. Since the type of page action we want is already selected, we can choose the Show option, select our transparent overlay from the list of widgets on the page, and then click Done. With the Show Widgets action on the canvas, we just need to associate it with a UI component that will trigger the event. To do this, we'll need to collapse the transparent overlay and the action sheet so we can see the Forgot Password link. Control click Collapse Widget, then one more time for the action sheet. Now we'll drag the text widget and release it on the canvas widget, creating the on-click association that will trigger the Show Widget action. With the action sheet displayed, clicking the Cancel button should hide the action sheet as well as the transparent overlay. First, let's expand the action sheet so we can access the Cancel button. To hide the overlay, we'll use another Show Hide Widgets action. This time, however, we'll choose Hide in the Set Page Action dialog and link the Cancel button to the new Canvas widget. We'll use a different approach to reveal and hide the action sheet itself. This time we'll create a dynamic display with two views and use Switch Views actions to alternate between the two views. To create our alternate view, we'll control click the action sheet and choose Add View, Add View. Three changes appear. Our action sheet has been replaced by an empty view, a gray box appears above the empty view, and a Views tab appears in the Details panel. Both the gray box, which is actually a drop-down list, and the Views panel can be used to display alternate views. You will also use the Views panel to set the default view, in this case the empty view. We'll add another page action to control our alternate views, this time using a Switch Views action. Because this action will be used to reveal the action sheet, we'll choose that view. A slide transition effect will enable the action sheet to slide up into position. After accepting the default settings for the transition, we'll click Done and the Switch Views action is created on the canvas. All that remains is to chain this action to the Show Widgets action, so both will be triggered by the reviewer clicking the Forgot Password link. Hiding the action sheet is just as easy as revealing it. This time we'll choose the empty view, use the same transition, and then chain the new action to the Hide Widgets action. Now let's test the interaction in the reader. Clicking the Forgot Password link reveals the transparent overlay and the action sheet, and clicking the Cancel button hides the same. Success.